Hi everyone and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's brand new vlog. So today's vlog is part two of the Halwa Puri Chole vlog. So I've already uploaded the Chole vlog for the Halwa Puri Chole. And now in part two, um, let's go and make the puris and the yummy yummy sweet halwa to actually make this whole a complete meal. So let's start cooking. So step two is to make sujiga halwa. And for that, the ingredients that we need are 300 grams of sugar, 200 grams of suji, which is semolina. We need four cups of water, which is 24 ounces. And we need a few cardamoms, green cardamoms. We need um, a pinch, just two and three threads of saffron. Saffron is to give color and green cardamom is to give a bit of uh, taste to the sujiga halwa. We need half a cup, a half a measuring cup of desi ghee. Now, Asian halwas, Asian mitais are something that we, we cannot compromise with to get the perfect taste and texture. So for that, we need to use some items which we normally don't use in our daily routine and some of these items include desi ghee we need to use desi ghee to make halwas, mitais um, and Asian some of Asian food so down here we cannot actually get an alternative we can't use oil because you won't get the perfect taste and texture that you get with ghee so I have half, half a cup of ghee and I have a few almonds which I've sliced for garnishing so now let's start and make this yummy yummy halwa. So first of all, let's make the syrup, the shira that we need for our halwa. First of all, I'm gonna add 300 grams of sugar. And in 300 grams of sugar, we're gonna add 24 ounces of water. Add it all in. On a medium flame, stir it around so that all the sugar dissolves in the water. Now at this stage, get three to four green cardamoms, open them up and just put them in the water. And now at this stage, <clears throat> I've got a few sticks of saffron. You only need a few and we're gonna add these in. You can actually add in um, food color, orange food color if you want to, but uh, I'm gonna let it go natural without the food color. So I'm just gonna add saffron. Saffron will actually give a hint of a, a color to the halwa, to the, to the suji, the semol semolina. Now, the next step is to let this boil. All we need is one boil. Once we have the full boil, what we're gonna do is turn the gas off, put the lid in and shift it to the back stove on a closed gas until we need it later on. So as you can see, the sugar syrup is boiled and it's got the full boil that we want. So now we are going to cover it with a lid and put it on a closed gas at the back. So now we need to make our semolina and for that I'm going to add half a cup of ghee into 
Askelet. And we're going to wait for the ghee to warm up. Everyone has their different way of making halwa, suji ka halwa. Um, this is the easiest way that I actually learned, um, and I have found this to be the easiest recipe so far, which is easily understandable um, for anyone to under actually understand and learn how to make it. I hope it actually works out for you guys. I hope that it's easy for you guys as well. Now the ghee has warmed up and we're gonna add in our 200 grams of suji. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cook our suji. Now you can actually cook this for six to seven minutes and you will get a light golden color or you can cook it for nine to 10 minutes and you'll get a medium um, golden color. I would not recommend that you actually cook longer than nine to 10 minutes. Otherwise you'll get a dark brown color and it will go bitter. So it's up to you guys. You guys want it light golden or you guys want it medium golden. Normally in the shops that actually sell uh, halwa puri, they actually go for medium golden if they're not actually adding any food color. If they are actually adding food color, then they actually go for light golden and then they, um, obviously cook it with the food color in so you can't see the color anywhere anywhere you see the food color some use pink some use orange um, many ways they make it but if you want to go natural way and use a natural color like I'm doing then these are the only two options that you guys can actually work with six to seven minutes or nine to ten minutes of cooking Alexa, turn the timer on for nine minutes. Nine minutes, starting now. I asked Alexa, Alexa for nine minutes because it's already been one minute since I'm actually cooking the suji. So on a medium heat, we need to cook it, not on a high heat. You have to constantly, constantly stir it because if you let go of it, then some of the suji, the semolina that's sitting at the bottom will be darker than the one which is on the top. So you won't get an even color. So I will carry on cooking this for nine minutes and I will see you guys after nine minutes and show you the color that is become after nine minutes. So exactly after six minutes, this is the light golden color, which is basically the color of um, brown sugar, but in light, light brown sugar. So if you guys want your halwa to be this color, then you can actually stop the cooking process right now. And if you guys don't want, want a bit darker, which I do, then carry on cooking for two more minutes. Two to three more minutes, sorry. So now what we're gonna do is put our sugar syrup in the semolina. We need to use both hands, one hand putting the water in and one hand stirring the semolina. Make sure that your syrup is warm enough do not add cold syrup in. So you can use both hands. It's a bit difficult, but it's not impossible. If you guys cannot use both hands, then get someone to come and help you. There we are. So now mix it well. So at this stage, this is what the color of our halwa um, should be look like, uh, should look like. As you can see, it's medium uh, golden. This is what we wanted, and you can also see the saffron as well. 
So the saffron will give it a bit of colour. Now it's boiling. We need to keep on stirring so that no lumps are formed. And we need to stir it for about three to four minutes. So on a medium heat, carry on stirring it. So as you can see after two minutes, our halva has gone a bit thick and at this stage we're going to add in the almonds. So now add in the almonds, stir it around. On the lowest heat, I'm going to turn the front heat off, I'm going to cover it with a lid and now on the lowest heat I'm going to actually transfer this and let it sorry let it cook for two minutes two minutes only and after that the halwa is ready now step three the final step the puri so now the ingredients that we need for our puri I have two and a half cups two and a half measuring cups of all-purpose flour which is maida in Urdu and also I have half a cup of chapati atta, which is wheat flour. I have quarter teaspoon, that's measuring teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any oil or ghee if you want to. And I have a salt shaker there because we need a pinch of salt. And I have 20 ounces of warm water to actually bind the dough together. So now let's start and make our dough. So down here, in the all-purpose flour, which in UK is plain flour, America all-purpose flour, and in um, Urdu is called mega. We're gonna add half a measuring cup of our whole wheat flour, which is chakki atta, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're going to prepare the dough. Gradually by gradually, just put some water in. So by adding the all-purpose flour, the maida, it will give our um, puris will be soft and elasticated. And by adding the whole wheat, it will give our the whole wheat arta, the chakki arta will make our puri a, li a little bit stable. So that's it, only a little bit of water. We didn't need a whole 20 ounce, but um, you can actually make, I'm, I'm gonna make, only make enough dough for about seven to eight puris, um, but some people have large households, so you can actually um, double, triple the quantity um, of the dough, of the dough, of the ingredients, sorry, to make more and more. So this is it. We're gonna actually just carry on kneading it for about five minutes and then we're going to let it rest for about five to ten minutes and then we're going to start frying them the more we need the more the dough is elasticated and the more the puris will turn out to be better soft and fluffy so once our dough stops um, sticking to the bowl like this our dough is ready so now I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to let the dough rest for two to three minutes and then we'll start frying our bullies so guys this is a final look of our halwa and I'm going to dish it out and show you. So in a skillet, I have some oil and I have actually filled the skillet up with oil halfway through as you can see, because we need to deep fry our puris. And on the side I have some plain flour and a rolling pin. 
to actually roll out our puris. So now I'm going to put some flour on my worktop and I'm going to get just a little bit of dough. We need to get less dough and we need to stretch out our dough when we roll it out. So basically a golf ball size, we need our dough. That's it. Flatten it down. And roll it out. You don't need to make small puris at all. You can make as big as even the pan size. People actually do that, but it has to be thin. Stretch it out. Now to check if my oil is hot enough, I've got some a little bit of dough and I'm going to drop it in. And as soon as this dough comes up, that means it's hot enough for me to actually put the booty in. Once you've rolled out your puri, shake off the excess flour. Now, very, very carefully, roll the puri and just put it in. Be very, very careful. And you see, as soon as my puri has gone in, it's actually puffed up. Now I'm gonna turn it around. Just press it down gently, and can you see how puffed round puri has become? You guys can make it as well, guys, don't worry. And now I'm going to take it out. I'm going to turn it around once more. And then I'm going to take it out. Put it on a tea towel. And let the excess oil drain. So guys, this is the final look of my halwa puri and chole. I hope that you guys liked today's vlog. As you guys saw, it was so easy to actually make halwa puri and chole in the comfort of our own home. Um, clean, healthy. If we eat uh, clean, stay healthy, um, then we are we can fight any disease. So guys, I hope that you guys like today's vlog. I hope that you guys like today's recipe. And uh, till my next recipe, take care. Bye.